So hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be testing out some new products that I've never used before called Avo Curl. But before I get into the brand and the products, I actually want to talk to you about how I discovered this brand in the very first place. So I actually was reached out to by the owner of a store called Beauty Entity. So Beauty Entity is a black owned online beauty supply store where black women can celebrate their beauty or their identity through shopping black owned beauty brands. Um, and so their, their mission is to make it easier for black women to discover black owned hair care and beauty brands with brands that work just right for them. They gave me a sample of a product that they carry on their website called Avo Curl. Avo Curl is an avocado based product line that provides hydration and shine for a wide range of hair textures. So that's kinky, curly, or wavy hair. This ingredient conscious brand has a goal of helping people, especially black women and girls, avoid exposure to chemicals through other products that have been linked to health concerns like cancer, hormone disruption, reproductive and developmental damage. Both the company and the brand, the hair product brand just seem like great companies um, as far as their mission as to what they aim to do. So I was really excited to try out these new products. So the product line features three products. So you have the avocado oil, which is just pure, 100% pure avocado oil, nothing else to it. Then you have the Shea Butter and Avocado Seal and Smooth Conditioning Butter with grapefruit and peppermint um, essential oil in that. And then the last product that they feature is the Leave-In Conditioner, which has aloe vera gel and avocado in it as well. Again, I've already washed my hair. They're just in large, chunky twists to make the process a bit easier. I'm gonna take this down. So today I'm just gonna do a standard twist up, which is my go-to, um, cause twist outs always work for me. Um, and I feel like that's the best way that I can determine if a product works, is if I can get a great twist up, it's good to go for me. Um, my only initial concerns about the product, more specifically the leave-in conditioner, is that I live in Florida, it's hot all year round, it's always humid. Um, and the issue with that is, the third ingredient in this product is vegetable glycerin. And every product that I've used before that has vegetable glycerin in it causes my hair to poof. So that is what makes me very apprehensive about the effectiveness of that product to my hair. I'm gonna take down the first twist. So I'm gonna undo this side as well. So my hair is thoroughly detangled. So I'm just gonna split this back section in half. All right, so I have the back section of my hair, but I'm gonna add some extra water to my hair because water is the base of every good hairstyle because your hair loves water. I haven't used oil on my hair in a very long time, but I'm not gonna use very much, but I'm just gonna add a little bit, but I added just a few drops of oil, so that's all the oil. I'm gonna add it to that whole section of hair. So I'm going to split my hair in a section going straight down. I'm gonna take the leave-in conditioner. You know this leave-in conditioner? It looks like black soap to me. <laughs> like, legitimately, if I saw this on the shelf, like in my hair, in my hair products, I would legitimately think this is black soap because it looks just like black soap. But I hang a little bit of that. Okay, so initially when I put it on, um, the leave-in, doesn't feel like a leave-in. I feel like I, it feels like I applied just more oil to my hair. Like, it doesn't feel like I applied like a leave-in conditioner. So maybe I'll try the next section of hair, like the next section to my hair without putting the oil first on top to see if that makes a difference. Then I'll take some of that butter and apply like that much. So this is my first twist.
All right, so I have completed the back section of my hair and my hair actually does feel good. I think I just needed time to like apply the product and allow it to like have to soak into my hair, but my hair does feel moisturized. Um, and because the leave-in conditioner has aloe vera gel, and aloe vera itself is really hydrating, as well as a vegetable glycerin as well. But I think I do like so far the combination of just the leave-in conditioner and the butter and skipping the oil altogether because there's so many oils already in the butter and in the leave-in conditioner that adding an additional oil just feels too much. All right, so I am completely done twisting my hair. The twist looks so good. Like, look at how juicy these twists look. Oh my gosh, they're so juicy. So I'm gonna let these air dry. Probably gonna take me two days. So stay tuned for the takedown and final look. So it's officially Thursday. And I think it's been a full three days since I actually recorded that previous clip. My hair has, has been able to retain some of that moisture from when I put on the products on Monday, which is fantastic for it to be thirsty. So what I'm gonna do now is obviously take down my twists and we're gonna see the final result of what this all looks like. So take down this first twist and what I can see already is some serious definition. So I want to share with you all my my overall thoughts of the product. The products are good at moisturizing your hair overall, but it's not my favorite. The biggest reason why they're not my favorites, leave-in conditioner. A particular product has glycerin on there. And so because of the glycerin, it I hate the sticky feeling that I get on my hands. And my hands do feel like they almost feel clammy. And obviously my twist out, as much as I love the volume of my hair, I wish I could get this volume with my twist outs on wet twist outs all the time. I also know that my hair isn't as defined as it usually is. Because of that definition loss, my hairstyle is not going to last. And I don't know if you can tell here, like there's some areas that are very defined, but like if you look at this side, it's not as defined. Like the definition is very soft. I have better definition in the back versus the front of my hair, and the front of my hair is the kinkiest, actually. If a product can define the front of my hair very well, then the back of my hair is, uh, is a no-brainer, it's a breeze, it's gonna last. But that's like my test to know like how great a product is for my hair. Is But I definitely think that though these products don't work for me now, but the winter months of Florida, maybe that's when this, this particular product would work best for my hair when my hair is going to feel more, much more drier because of the change in the atmosphere and in the climate. So that completes my overall review of the product, but if you have any more questions, make sure you leave those questions in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And also, if you enjoyed this review and tutorial, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button now and turn on the bell for notifications so that you're always aware of when I post my next video and as always thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one bye